What is going on guys? Dopeslinner930 here. Don't want to take a real long time for my introduction, but uh, glad to be back making videos again. Um, this is the first Xbox update video or any kind of update video I've done in a long time. Uh, the main reason for that, well for one I got a new job as you guys know and I've been working full time. Uh, secondly is my little uh, USB Wi-Fi adapter broke on me and I just didn't get around to getting a new one until uh, yesterday. So back at it and hopefully I'll be able to pump out some more videos for you guys. I don't even know where I left off last time. A lot has kind of been released. So I'll just kind of go through the top maybe five, uh, five things here on Team Executor's website. As you can see in front of us, Jungle Flasher version 1.96 has been released. It says, uh, we have a brand new version of Jungle Flasher for all you firm firmware fans. Jungle Flasher, the latest one, we have a brand, da, 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 da. okay, so I repeated the same thing twice. Um, it comes with support for executors, additional LTU2 files uh, for DG16D4S support, added extraction for the serial info from original drive at key CR time for LTU2 and <laughs> so a lot of shit that probably a lot of you won't understand but there is a, a new version of Jungle Flasher and it has support for the LTU2 files um, for the DG16 D4S. Um, a new dash launch was released. I'll kind of go over some of the major or it's just, just really all this is for some minor bugs. Uh, fixing the update server for Corona 16 um, 16 by consoles. Uh, added an encryption logging to the installer, fix some minor bugs, so it looks like nothing major, um, but might as well be on the latest and, you know, maybe if you've had some problems with something, this will uh, fix it for you. Uh, next it says, see forever is LTU2, uh, LTU2 firmware for all light on D uh, DG16 D4S's, um, which is, I would imagine, why this was updated. Um, it says, see free has listened to the many requests from users who have 16 D4S drives and have no firmware dump leaving them dead in the water until now I'm not even going to attempt to read through all of this um, but again as always with this stuff I link you guys to it so if you want to read up more on that then I will uh, I will uh, get it get it uh, linked for you guys all right um, it says Xbox 360 support uh, support to last till 2016 including 100 new games that's awesome that um because originally I was I was talking to someone about that that I was wondering whether you know, Microsoft, when they dropped the new Xbox One, whether, you know, they were going to kind of cut off Xbox Live within like a year, what they were planning on doing. And a buddy of mine said that, you know, they're going to be supporting it for a while. And I wasn't, you know, too sure whether his um, his information sources were very reliable. But uh, it seems like this is kind of confirming it. It says Microsoft has announced that it will support the Xbox 360 for three more years before phasing it out in 2016. Bureau Gamer reports that Xbox Chief Marketing and Strategy Officer, it doesn't really matter, explained at the City Global Technology Conference yesterday that the eight-year-old console could expect to see over a hundred new games before that time comes. It says, uh, you've seen us over the years constantly be focused on profitability and improving year over year, he said. There are different points in the cycle of when you invest in new hardware. If you look at 360, that platform lasted for seven, eight years and it's going to go for another three years. It's incredibly profitable now in the tail. Some of these things take some time in the launch year in which you invest, and then they plan out or pan out over time. Play, uh, play out over time. Uh, it says we're going to blah blah blah. It says it, if this comes to pass, it'll mean the Xbox will have an incredible 11-year life cycle, seeing as it launched in November 2005. Okay, so I guess I'm not positive whether it's 100% sure, um, but it seems like it is. So that's bitching um, for you guys that are not really planning on jumping into the xbox one right away because it is going to be you know a little chunk of change um and i know a lot of my friends you know they're talking about holding on to their 360s and just sticking with that so um awesome awesome i think that's probably the main stuff i mean that's xbox one i'm sure you guys know the launch date by now it says october i mean october november 22nd um and this is where it will be launching so if you're in one of these places you are in luck um, what else? What else? Let's see. Mupin 64, a new version of the oh, cool. The N64 emulator has been released, adding support for Corona and fixes USB issues. So I guess it won't do much for me since I don't even have a Corona, but that's cool if you do have a Corona. Um, I think that's probably about it, guys. Um, yeah, so there's been kind of some new stuff, but again, nothing too, too, too crazy, really. Um, I'm sure, you know, the Xbox 360 has been so just exploited and opened up that um, most of, I feel like, what will be done to it has been done. But uh, hopefully, you know, some people will still come along since it seems like it'll be around for another three years, um, you know, and release some new apps and things like that. 
But uh, anyways, that's just kind of a quickie little update for you guys on some new things that have been released. Again, glad to be back. Um, I, I am working, like I said, a full-time job and I'm going to school, so I won't be able to do quite as many as I was doing at one point, but at least it will be more than before when I was doing like one every couple weeks. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. And uh, yeah, dope 2930. And as always, guys, thank you for watching.